What's going on guys? So today's video is about bulking up properly. So this is for the hard gainers, the skinny guys, the guys that can't put on very much weight to build up their muscle. Um, so, sorry, I was just reading the text. So the best way I want to give you guys um, from my experiences, let me explain what I've done first. This is, but I want to do this video because I know a lot of guys would straight away go and reach for the, the weight gain shakes. And you know what, For the weight gain shakes are fucking terrible. There's so much fucking sugar in there. It's like a diabetes in a fucking cup. It's terrible. Like I used to drink shit loads of weight gain. And all that does is just make your gut fat and it takes ages to lose that weight. So I'd advise you not to take any weight gain shakes whatsoever. So there's two easy ways to do it. First of all, I know a lot of people are talking about clean bulk and dirty bulk. Um, I used to say, I, for me, I used to say clean bulk, but now because I do intermittent fasting, and you can basically eat whatever you want as long as you're in under a certain amount of calories. It doesn't really matter too much. Obviously, keep your protein high. You know, if you're going to eat chicken, eat some. Uh, if you're going to eat like meat and stuff, make sure you eat like you know some good meat. But obviously, you can still have your snacks, have your desserts or whatever, as long as you're in a certain amount. Of if you're trying to bulk up, obviously, you need to be over a certain amount of calories. So, like men, I know it's like 2,500. So, you would need to be maybe 3,000, 3,500 calories a day to bulk up. So, what I would say is clean bulk and dirty bulk, it doesn't matter, you can do it, mix them both in, I'll, that's the best one, mix them both in, so dirty bulk with the clean bulk as well, that kind of helps with your chicken, have your desserts as well to increase your insulin levels to, you know, to obviously bulk up a bit more better, but instead of weight gain shakes, um, there's one thing that really, really fucking helped me to gain you know size and it was a healthier way and that was oats oats in my protein shake i used to have oats every single day i'd have it in the morning um you know because i know a lot of people they don't want to you know sit there making them you know if you have a busy schedule so what i used to do is i used to just throw loads of oats into the protein shake and i would drink them um i drink that with the oats uh, obviously oats as you know is slow releasing carbs but it's got a, a, a high amount of carbohydrates in there which is really going to put your, your size on very quick get you bulky quite quick but as well it's not all it's not sugar you know so it's not all going to go to your frigging gut um so i'd have that in the morning then what I would do is train and I'd have it after I trained as well. And oats were honestly the best thing, guys. For, um, for, for, uh, fat burners, why am I talking about fat burners? Um, weight gain shakes, honestly guys, I would stay clear, well, well clear of them. They're fucking terrible. I remember when I used to, when I first ever started training years ago, and, um, and, I, and, I, re and I was a really skinny guy, like I was, I think I was like, Fuck me, I think I was like nine stone, something stupid, and I and I started taking weight gain shakes and, and I remember like I was getting big but my stomach was fucking bloated as fuck and it took me ages to lose the weight. And then I'd done some research and realized that most of the shit in there is friggin' just sugar anyway, you know, it's really bad, you know, really bad things in there like sugar. There's like um, some of them even have like like traces of MSG as well, like all that kind of shit, you know, so I wouldn't even touch it. Um, but yeah, oats, 100% oats. So dirty, mix dirty bolt with the clean bolt. Make sure you're over a certain amount of calories, 3,500 3, um, for men. And uh, and oats, oats are the fucking one that's really going to put that weight on you. But you're not going to feel as bloated. You're not going to feel as tired and and feel like you've just had a fucking massive sugar rush. So they're the two things, and I hope that helps you guys out. And see you soon. Peace.